Linda and Robert. On this channel, you can find out the most recent news on Princess Catherine, Princess of Wales, and the rest of her family. We have some urgent news to share with you today. With her waist cinching jacket and the Queen's tragic pearls, Princess Kate is mesmerizing. The Princess of Wales joined her husband, Prince William, at the Royal British Legion Festival of Remembrance on Saturday night and looked absolutely stunning in a somber black attire. As she entered the Royal Albert Hall for the special memorial event, Princess Kate looked stunning in a waist cinching jacket embellished with three poppy pins. The mother of three wore a pleated flowy skirt and accessorized with black shoes, elegant boxy purse, semi-sheer tights and other accessories. However, it was Kate's thoughtful choice of accessories that truly drew everyone's attention. The princess wore her Baran diamond and pearl drop earrings and Japanese pearl choker necklace as a homage to the late Queen Elizabeth II. The queen personally ordered the four-strand necklace, which was created from pearls supplied to her by the Japanese government and had a diamond clasp in the center. Although the necklace had always belonged to her majesty, Princess Diana, Kate's late mother-in-law, made history by donning it to a state dinner for the Netherlands in 1982. Princess Kate most famously wore the diamonds at Prince Philip's burial last year and to Her Majesty's state funeral in September. The Queen, who served as the longest serving commander in chief of the British Armed Forces and was the patron of the Royal British Legion, will be honored throughout the evening, making Princess Kate's choice of accessory all the more significant. The Princess of Wales kept her makeup light and radiant, adding a swipe of pink lipstick to complement her rosy blusher, and let her brown hair down in a sleek, straight manner. She had three poppies on the label of her jacket, assumed to be in memory of her kin who had fought and perished in battle. The three brothers of Princess Kate's great-grandmother perished in combat during the First World War but the palace has never officially said why the mother of three chose to wear so many poppies. Prince William, who proudly wore his decorations on his jacket, also looked sharp in a somber suit. The celebration honors all British and Commonwealth citizens who have served and made sacrifices the Royal Albert Hall will host the live broadcast, which will air on BBC One. On the guest list were the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester, the Duke of Kent and Princess Alexandra, as well as the King and Queen Consort Camilla, the Earl and Countess of Wessex, the Princess Royal and Vice Admiral Sir Timothy Lawrence. Following the passing of Her Majesty the Queen, the royal family found this year's celebration to be bittersweet. Due to medical advice from her doctors, the late monarch was compelled to postpone her participation at the event last year as well. All of the royals will reunite once again after the festival at the Cenotaph's traditional Remembrance Day service on Remembrance Day. It will be King Charles' first act, official act, and he plans to lay a fresh wreath in honor of His Majesty's grandparents, King George IV and King Queen Elizabeth II. At the National Service of Remembrance in London in 2021, the Duchess of Sussex sat with Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, Sophie, Countess of Wessex, and her mother-in-law on a balcony overlooking the Cenotaph. She and Duchess Camilla observed as Prince Charles placed a wreath on the memorial in her honor when his mother withdrew due to a back injury. 
In addition to a trio of conventional red poppies, she accented the ensemble with a black drop trim hat and a crystal flower brooch from the Royal British Legion. She also donned a set of Princess Diana previously owned pearl drop earrings. Prince William also placed a wreath on the center path in memory of all military soldiers who sacrificed their life during the war. While wearing the uniform of a squadron leader of the Royal Air Force, Prince William saluted during the official veteran group's march on Horse Guards Parade after the service. Prince William and Duchess Kate dressed according to the event's customary dress code, which stipulates that men wear suits and ladies wear black. The Duchess of Cambridge deviated from her usual look by wearing a hat with a broad brim. The mother of three showed up for the yearly event on a balcony above the Cenotaph War Memorial, wearing a wide brimmed hat, a style she rarely dons, to accessorize her black attire. The gown drew similarities to one worn at the same occasion in 1992 by her late mother-in-law, Princess Diana. Elizabeth Holmes, author of HRH, So Many Thoughts on Royal Style, also suggested that Kate's hat, the Tiffany Drop Broom Hat from Lock & Co, was a nod to Queen Elizabeth, whose wine brim hats are a mainstay of her wardrobe. Since making her debut at the 2011 Remembrance Sunday, Princess Catherine has tried out many headpieces. She often used fascinators for the event, sometimes with netting concealing part of her face. But in 2016 and 2017, she donned bigger hats. Princess Catherine only needed to glance inside her royal wardrobe to choose her costume of choice. The princess, who is renowned for reusing her favorite outfits, donned the identical military-inspired jacket by Alexandra McQueen for the service only three years ago. It was a white collar and crimson trim on the shoulders. She chose pearl stud earrings and a black fascinator for 2018. Now, returning to this year's Remembrance Day activities, all the royals wore poppy pins, an artificial flower that has been worn since 1921 to honor service men who have lost their lives in combat. The poem in Fl Flanders Fields by John McRae, which is about World War I, is thought to be where the poppy emblem first appeared. The Commonwealth nations and the United Kingdom have embraced the custom of donning poppies. On November 11th, Armistice Day, it is especially important to recognize the service sacrifices made by military personnel. The Royal British Legion, which cultivates poppies in Northern Ireland, Wales and England, the way you wear a poppy is up to you. An individual's decision to wear a poppy and how they wear it are both personal choices. Wearing a poppy with pride is the greatest way to wear one. I appreciate you listening to our news. When someone you love passes away, what will you do to honor them? Please tell us what you plan to do in these circumstances. Stay tuned for more videos.